Are you ready to journey back to the iconic era of 1970s television? The Six Million Dollar Man emerged onto screens, introducing viewers to the world of Colonel Steve Austin, a former astronaut with extraordinary bionic enhancements. It was a pioneering show that captured imaginations with its futuristic premise and action-packed storytelling. When did you first encounter this groundbreaking series? Whether it was during its original run or through later viewings, the show's enduring qualities continue to resonate. Its blend of science fiction, espionage, and the human drama of a man grappling with newfound abilities ensured its place as a timeless emblem of the entertainment industry. Before we delve deeper, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience linked to the Six Million Dollar Man? Share your stories and nostalgia in the comments below. Your experiences add depth to the legacy of this classic series. Now, for some intriguing tidbits, did you know the show was based on the novel Cyborg by Martin Caden? Or that it spawned spin-offs, merchandise, and a cultural impact that echoes even today? The iconic slow-motion sequences of Steve Austin in action, and his catchphrase, we can rebuild him, we have the technology, have left an indelible mark on pop culture. Your turn, share your memories, and let's celebrate this legendary show together. In Spanish-speaking countries of Latin America only, the series is known as El Hombre Nuclear. This alteration in title reflects the localization of the show to cater to different language audiences. The change is a common practice in entertainment to make content more accessible and relatable to diverse cultures. The choice of El Hombre Nuclear showcases the adaptation of the original series to resonate with Spanish-speaking viewers, allowing them to engage more deeply with the story and characters. This adjustment highlights the significance of language and cultural nuances in the presentation of media content. By renaming the series, the creators aim to bridge linguistic barriers and make the show more appealing and understandable to a broader audience. The adaptation of titles for international markets is a strategic move that demonstrates the show's commitment to reaching a global viewership. It signifies an understanding of the importance of cultural sensitivity and linguistic diversity in entertainment. In essence, the renaming of the series as El Hombre Nuclear showcases the show's efforts to connect with Spanish-speaking audiences in Latin America, emphasizing the importance of cultural relevance in television programming. The creator of The Six Million Dollar Man lived in Cocoa Beach. Martin Caden, author of Cyborg, was the mastermind behind the fictional Steve Austin. Interestingly, he borrowed the name Dr. Rudy Wells from a rather eccentric Cocoa Beach physician. This physician was known for his quirky office behavior, often seen wearing roller skates while tending to patients. Caden had a deep connection to the Space Coast area, so much so that in 1997, his ashes were scattered over the Cocoa Beach coastline. This peculiar connection between the creator and the real-life inspiration adds an intriguing layer to the origins of the iconic series, offering a glimpse into the blend of fiction and reality that shaped the world of Steve Austin and his bionic adventures. Lee Majors, the iconic actor behind the role of Steve Austin in the 1974 TV series The Six Million Dollar Man, wasn't just renowned for his portrayal, he embodied the spirit of the character in every daring stunt he performed. His commitment went beyond the script, as he fearlessly took on an astounding 90% of the show's stunts during its entire run. Majors didn't merely act out Austin's bionic adventures, he lived them, adding an unparalleled level of authenticity to the series. His dedication to realism not only impressed audiences, but also underscored Majors' unwavering commitment to his craft. By embracing the physical challenges of the role, he elevated the action-packed narrative making Steve Austin's exploits even more believable and captivating for viewers. Major's willingness to push boundaries and embody the essence of his character set a standard that resonated long after the show concluded, cementing his legacy as a true Hollywood daredevil. In essence, Lee Major's determination to perform his own stunts wasn't just about entertainment, it was a testament to his passion for storytelling and his respect for the character he brought to life on screen. His fearless approach to embodying Steve Austin left an indelible mark on the series, creating a lasting impact that continues to inspire audiences today. Alan Oppenheimer's departure from the role of Dr. Rudy Wells after the show's second season marked a significant shift. Martin E. Brooks stepped in, becoming a constant presence till the series' end. 
Oppenheimer's brief return for a single episode in season three showcased a unique circumstance, avoiding reshoots and maintaining continuity. This change in casting not only impacted the character's portrayal, but also influenced the show's dynamic across seasons. The transition of actors in a pivotal role like Dr. Wells contributed to the evolving narrative and character interactions throughout the 1974 TV series The Six Million Dollar Man. The Six Million Dollar Man, a 1974 TV series, had surprising effects beyond entertainment. The show's popularity revealed an alarming trend. Some children, influenced by the bionic hero, sought to harm themselves, hoping for bionic parts. In response, Lee Majors and the producers wrote a letter clarifying the show's fictional nature to at least one such child. This unforeseen impact highlighted the need to emphasize the distinction between fiction and reality for impressionable audiences. As the series gained traction, another intriguing detail emerged. In the show's opening, producer Harve Bennett voiced the iconic line Steve Austin, a man barely alive, stepping in when Richard Anderson couldn't record the edition. Additionally, the series underwent a shift in content due to its influence on younger viewers. Early episodes portrayed Austin occasionally killing villains, but as his role as a role model for children became apparent, the level of violence decreased significantly, with Austin seldom resorting to lethal actions. This alteration reflected the responsibility felt by the creators to present a more suitable role model in line with the show's impact on its audience. These aspects, from unexpected repercussions to adjustments in content, shed light on the intricate relationship between media influence and societal responsibility within the context of this iconic TV series. Former U.S. Air Force pilot and NASA Public relations man Martin Caden's 1971 novel Cyborg served as the core inspiration for the iconic 1974 TV series The Six Million Dollar Man. This show, centered on the character Steve Austin, drew its essence from Caden's novel, where he envisioned a bionic man, borrowing elements from astronauts David Scott and Eugene Cernan. The narrative of a man rebuilt with bionic parts after a near-fatal accident captivated audiences, introducing a blend of science fiction and human resilience. The adaptation from book to screen brought to life the adventures of Steve Austin, a character whose bionic enhancements fueled his heroic endeavors. The show explored themes of technology, resilience, and the human spirit, captivating viewers with its blend of action, innovation, and the promise of human augmentation. Caden's groundwork in Cyborg laid the foundation for a cultural phenomenon, giving rise to a TV series that resonated with audiences through its portrayal of cutting-edge technology and the indomitable nature of the human will. A legacy of the Six Million Dollar Man endures is a testament to Caden's foresight and the enduring appeal of a character whose bionic adventures inspired generations, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of science fiction television. As we reach the end of this journey through the iconic 1974 TV series, The Six Million Dollar Man, take a moment to cherish the bionic connection that brought us together. Reflect on those awe-inspiring moments when technology merged seamlessly with humanity, Steve Austin's resilience, and the thrill of his superhuman feats. Your personal memories or thoughts are the thread that weaves this nostalgic tapestry. Maybe it was the gripping storyline, the futuristic charm, or the resonating message of human potential. Whatever it may be, it's an experience uniquely yours, coloring the canvas of this classic show with your perspective. I invite you to share your cherished moments, the scenes that etched themselves into your heart, or the lessons that lingered long after the screen faded. Let's celebrate the impact of this series on our lives, inviting others to dive into this shared nostalgia. Thank you for walking down memory lane with the Six Million Dollar Man. Your time and reflections are truly appreciated in keeping the spirit of this timeless series alive. Share your thoughts and let's keep the bionic legacy thriving.